Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 26th, 2023. Well, my goodness, yesterday we had a nice little relief beginning, but suddenly this morning we seem to be having a reversal of that. So a little bit of uncertainty still going around the market. What does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, how about we take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, yesterday we had a pretty nice little relief rally. As you can see, we pushed down pretty sharply here. I had suggested that we would test the 200 day moving average. And we certainly did that. We broke down through it and then reversed on the day. Unfortunately, overnight we've had a reversal and we're back down here testing the 200 day moving average once again. So looking at this chart, if the, um, bears were to continue to find inspiration here today well i would suggest maybe a retest of yesterday's low could be possible and if that were to fail well i think we move on lower here in the chart and if we pull this across here you can see there is a little bit more price support right in this area you can see right across here we've got some support areas in here right in through here little bit of price support in there so if the bears were to push on through i could really see that possibility that we could lose that 200 day moving average and push down in here toward this 335 area of the market and i would say it's probably a wide range probably between about 330 and 335 i mean 335 um, um, and above uh, in that area for that next level of price support so it's a little bit of a wide area however if the bulls find inspiration today perhaps we bounce off of this low from yesterday or that 200 day moving average we could bounce off of that and then begin that push back up. And if we do, I would suggest a retest of yesterday's high might be um, the likeliness in the chart. And if we can pop through yesterday's high, well, then we're looking up here into the next resistance level of the chart. Not much higher here overall. Um, obviously, that is one of those... Uh, one of those days where you go come on man uh, let's get a little bit of relief rally going but just not a lot of energy here and perhaps we've got some data today that may help us out but we'll be watching that pretty closely right now we've got european markets are down across the board asian markets were also down across the board so a little bit of uh, complication going on here in the markets let's take a look at us at the spy spy also uncertain here this morning as you can see in this chart we're gapping a little bit lower here this morning pushing down and as you can see if we were to um, get those bears uh, continuing to move to the downside a retest of this low looks like a possibility now yesterday was a bullish candle in here we ended up finishing the day with a surge right into the end of the day with that little bit of bullishness and this became a piercing candle or almost a bullish engulfing but unfortunately that reversal here overnight really throws question into that so a retest of this low would be first if the bears continue to push here this morning and if they push on lower well honestly there is a little teeny tiny level of price support in here but if that doesn't hold i think there's a real good possibility we're down here around the 416 area of the chart and you can see down around that area is where we're going to find that 200 day moving average here in the chart 
So that really is a possibility. And if you look at a volume profile chart, you'll see there really isn't a whole lot of volume support in this area of the market. And if we were to push on through the next volume profile area that shows us good support is going to be right down in here. So there is some serious risk that that is a possibility. We'll want to kind of keep that in mind. If, however, we bounce off of yesterday's low, hold that support well the next area the chart to be looking at would be a bounce right up into here we might break through yesterday's high and see if we can go just a little bit higher test some of these resistance levels in the chart kind of an intermediate area right in here if we can pop through and if we can get through that we're looking up here at that more significant level of price resistance in the chart so boy a lot of uncertainty here in um, the spy um, with its reversal overnight. When we take a look at our QQQ, our QQQ is the only one of the indexes so far not to break the low here in August. And I think that possibility could come into play with this gap down this morning, gapping lower. Now we ended up finishing the day with a good um, piercing candle, almost bullish engulfing here once again. But now this reversal here today is going to add some question and probably be a little painful for those who uh, picked up positions yesterday, assuming that we were going to zoom right back to the top side. Um, particularly, and they're going to be hurt particularly if we take out this low. So watch that carefully. If the bears were to continue pushing this morning, then I'm going to suggest a low that takes out um, yesterday and maybe even takes out the August low here in the market. So watch that closely. We came close yesterday noticing right here our low print was at uh, 354.71 on that candle. Our low print here was 355.93. So not that far off of testing that low or even taking it out. A bearish push could easily do that. Now, if they push through that level, where do we go? And once again, we could push on down maybe to the lower side of this consolidation area. That certainly is a possibility for that next level lower. But once again, on the volume profile chart, there's not much volume support in that area, suggesting if we break down through these areas, we could have a pretty painful fall in the market. So uh, be kind of careful here. Um, if the bulls find inspiration today, well, I'm going to suggest a retest of this high uh, that we saw yesterday. And if we can pop through that, we can see this next level up here in the chart. Maybe we push up into that area if we can push on through. Remember, all of these um, all of these index charts are still well below their 50-day moving average. And one of the things you want to notice is that 50-day moving average is starting to turn lower. So as we rally back, we have to really be thinking um, um, carefully here about that possibility on the rally back that we could just find that next resistance level and continue that trend to the downside. Um, so keep a close eye on these levels here in the chart. If we start breaking lower here today and we come in and to a test of this, then QQQ could join the other indexes in breaking that August low. And then if we take a look at our IWM, IWM had the best day yesterday, really pushing up, kind of a bullish engulfing candle. We rejected the low, but look what's happening this morning. Uh, we've already gapped down below um, that low in the overnight uh, session. And you can see we're trying to push it up right now. So if we can hold right in here on yesterday's low, we might be okay and we might catch a bounce. But you could see pretty easily if those bears were to push on through here to the downside. Well, next levels down here are probably down around this 173 area. And if that fails, we're probably coming into the 170 area of the chart. Um, obviously, very, very bearish here in this pattern. I've been mentioning this bigger head and shoulders pattern in the chart. And we certainly look like we could play this out. Obviously, this little head and shoulders pattern has already completed. 
now we've got this big pattern that could easily extend on down and the completion is going to be down in here someplace for this bigger pattern of uh, in the IWM. So very, very bearish. Again, all of our index is well below their 50 day moving average, but here in IWM, we're already well below our 200 day as those bears seem to be kind of hungry here in the market. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX yesterday popped, gapped up, and then we ended up selling all the way back off by the end of the day in the VIX. We found this price resistance in the chart and rejected that. That's a pretty normal action of the market and we are very oversold in the short term. So you could certainly understand that um, that sentiment that, hey, we've maybe we're through this bearish portion and we're going to start settling down, but may not be the case today. Um, you could see with the gap down this morning, we could easily see fear spiking right back up into this area and possibly even through if the bears really start pushing here today. Of course, I'm recording this early and the possibility is we could reverse this bearishness in the pre-market and there may be a little bit of data that would help us with that but just kind of keep that in mind if those bears um, were to push on through this area then i think we're going to start experiencing a little fear in the market um, uh, well more than fear maybe we start panicking just a little bit and there could be a rapid sell-off from uh, the CTAs or the computer traded uh, systems by the institutions. If we start breaking these supports, they're gonna really start working to protect profits. Um, and with and they are very unemotional so just be prepared for that if that were to begin it could move quickly now if the bulls can find inspiration here today and really gain some strength and hold on well we might test some support levels down in here and then then we start looking for those bears to come back um, if they can so watch the that carefully let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 continues to be our best hope that we might get uh, a bit more relief rally. You can see yesterday we came up off of the floor, got a little bit going in here into T2122. The energy wasn't strong um, in that move, however, and now gapping lower, I'm suggesting we could open the market today right back down here in that bearish uh, or bullish reversal zone looking for some kind of thing to get us a little bit uh, more bullish in the market. It's also possible that what this ends up looking like is more of a double bottom and then we do get that relief rally back to the upside. So watch carefully here. A um, lot of, uh, you know, uncertainty here in the market. If the bulls can get going, well, clearly we've got a lot of upside potential if they can really get going. But obviously that gap down this morning could uh, put us right back down here at the low end of that range. T2108, the percentage of stocks above their 40 day moving average. You can see as they pushed up yesterday and they did get a nice move going, 25% of the stocks above their 40 day. But unfortunately, it just wasn't all that impressive of a move. You can see that we did not even test that area of resistance in the chart gapping lower this morning. We have that potential that we could be pushing down here to test some of these uh, lower support levels here in the market if that gap continues to hold this morning. So uh, watch that carefully here. Um, obviously not looking so good here in T2108. Um, pretty tough to get a real good bullish feel on the market when we look like this. And remember that um, if those bulls were to come in, we still have that resist the, these resistance levels above. We're going to need some energy in the market, and we've been really lacking energy here with institutions, um, the big, I shouldn't say institutions, but big companies in their blackout period. As a matter of fact, about 50% of all market stocks 
are in their blackout period where they can't buy stock back, they can't do much of anything. So that means we, we're going to continue to probably lack in that momentum here of the market if we if we do pick up. If we take a look at our T2107, T2107 obviously um, picked up a little bit yesterday, 39% of the stocks above their 200 day moving average, but once again, wasn't all that enthusiastic in that move higher. We've got these resistance levels to be thinking about with that gap down this morning. Um, if it continues to hold as a gap down this morning, we could be down here testing these lower levels. Um, easily um, with the move down here this morning so watch that carefully and remember if the bulls do get inspiration we're going to be dealing with these bigger resistance levels and downtrends to the upside that we're going to have to start breaking through to get things going our t2101 interestingly yesterday it was surging higher yesterday on the sell wave yesterday and then as the buyers came in it started to fade back just a little bit so we're not getting that enthusiasm on the buy side just yet so we're going to have to be a little bit careful with the selling this morning. I wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit of panic and see um, T2101, that breadth, really coming in to the sell side. Now, hopefully we don't break out of this long downtrend in here, because if we do, we could really start to see some panic coming into the market. So let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. Now, our economic calendar we've got a few things to be watching today but it's not all that bad um, we're going to be dealing with case shiller home prices that was a surprise last time if you remember we saw those home prices moving up everyone was expecting them to move down so keep an eye on that we need to start seeing some of these um, things moving lower to help the fed back off so far haven't, haven't really had a lot of success with that. We're also gonna see the house price index here, not much of a market moving report. We're gonna get consumer confidence. Uh, consumer confidence by the consensus is suggesting confidence has declined. And we're also uh, looking at new home sales and according to consensus, that is also declining here. So watch those carefully this morning as we get through some of those economic reports. Remember, we've got a two-year bond auction here. That's going to be important. Those two-year bonds, they have been holding in there really strong, and we've been continuing to see those bond yields be stubbornly, um, stubbornly high. Um, if you saw TLT yesterday falling through support levels, ugly, ugly, as those bond yields continue to move up. We've got Bauman speaking here today, um, so kind of keep that in mind. We're going to um, immediately, after we get through these, we're going to be thinking about these big numbers tomorrow. We've got durable goods numbers, that petroleum status yesterday petroleum was kind of flat on the day a little bit up and down kind of flat on the day but we're not seeing any relief in those energy prices what we don't want to see in this number is we don't want to see more um, declines in supplies because we could continue to see that pressure move up on our oil and gas prices so oh we've got a lot going on yet this week let's take a look at our earnings calendar now our earnings calendar this might help us a little bit today could also hurt us today depending on how these companies report we've got a few more on the earnings calendar that um, a bit uh, a bit more notable so that might provide some inspiration we got AIR that will be reporting today keep an eye on that one CentOS will be reporting. Um, right now it's been holding in this upside trend and trying to show some buyers going into that earnings report. Um, overall been trending up. So watch that one closely. This could be important today. Uh, Costco will be one of those important reports today. Costco's been struggling and dealing with this big resistance area of the chart. We've kind of broken this upside trend. We're just kind of in a waiting mode here for this earnings report to see whether or not that's going to be bullish or bearish. It'll be interesting to see because this could be 
one of those early warning signs of the consumer if the consumer is starting to show weakness. Um, take a look at um, FERG, FERG reporting today, a little pop and drop going on in that one in the pre-market. Um, MLKN is also on that list today. Nice bullish pattern, looking bullish heading into those earnings. SNX will be reporting today, also very bullish trend. And then we've got PRGS on the list today and UNFI um, kind of last but not least here on that earnings list today. So watch some of these. Some of them are this morning, some are this afternoon. So kind of keep your eye on these. They could be um, market moving events because we just really haven't had a whole lot of big notables to excite the market here lately. Um, let's it's a double-edged sword remember um, they could inspire the bulls or they could easily inspire the bears let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today guys but before we do that if you could do me that quick favor click that thumbs up button click that bell icon leave a brief comment make sure if you're not subscribed click that click that subscribe button that helps the channel to continue to grow thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that um, as you know i try to put these videos out with no bias in the chart just really looking at the technicals and the price action patterns here in the market so if you find that to be useful or helpful please support the channel and help us out um, with those things and that will um, help attract more folks to the channel as well so thank you much let's take a look at a few of these charts that could be setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you're going to have to do your own due diligence be very very careful in this market and remember that with the whip that we're seeing this morning a lot of these could really look differently um, pretty soon uh, today first off let's take a look um, as you guys know i've been mentioning khc and that possibility that some of these defensive sector stocks are starting to perk up with the uncertainty of the market. Oftentimes institutions will rotate or start rotating into these to protect themselves and um, actually pick up some dividend yield when the market is a little bit on the shaky side and perhaps turning bearish. So watch that carefully here, KHC. Nice little break of this resistance. We pushed back, we held in here, we're on this trend. Maybe another day or two of rest in here and I'd be looking for that opportunity that maybe that can start pushing on through to the upside. You'll notice in here, trying to break through that 50 day moving average Average. We need to pop through there. It's kind of wearing a wearing it as a hat at the moment. We need to push through that level of the chart. Um, another place that you um, certainly would want to take a look at is AT&T. Now AT&T getting a little bit of volatility here in the pre-market this morning, a little pop and drop going on. I don't know exactly what's happening there, but if you take a look, that's a nice little break through this area. We've been holding on the trend. If the buyers can hold in this area, I would look for that next opportunity for this to be swinging back higher. And once again, this is above our 50-day moving average so you will want to kind of keep that in mind let's take a look at a few others here um, on the day walmart walmart doing a good job yesterday we had a little bit of buying coming in there walmart holding support in this chart trying to hang in there trying to push to the upside so watch that carefully walmart has been one of the winners on the retail side here where so many of them are looking very very bearish take a look at stocks like Kohl's Kohl's ugly continuing to just run to the downside I think any rally back in some of these stocks sets up the next short if you take a look at Macy's oof, Macy's trying to find a bottom in here finding a few buyers yesterday uh, trying to push on up but uh, obviously that is a very ugly chart and there's so many of those right now in that retail area not looking good now on the big tech side we had an interesting day yesterday we had google making a move to the upside trying to get going and it held on to that through the end of the day so watch that carefully as we broke the support in the chart we do want to consider the fact that google is um, having to deal with an antitrust 
um, trial going on so watch that carefully as this rallies back up could easily set up that next lower high in the chart in that potential short so keep an eye there on Google you might also want to be keeping an eye on meta and meta has been trying pretty hard to hold up um, it's almost ignored um, the overall market here holding in there on this support area of the chart unfortunately we did give up this little upside trend and we did create a lower high in here so watch this carefully as we approach this resistance up here in the chart if we rally up into here and show failure that could be a problem if we can break through and hold then bulls are back in control on meta so watch that one carefully we also saw some interesting moves um, in the ag related sector which was weird considering how strong the dollar was yesterday but you can see CF moving up here, some um, ag related inputs pushing up. Now we do have a pretty big resistance in that chart to be paying attention to, but watch that closely. If we can push on through, I wanna show you here, if I switch this to a weekly chart, Take a look at how big a um, inverted head and pattern um, that we're showing in here. So popping through this area would continue to uh, complete that pattern through to the upside. So watch that carefully. That possibility does exist. Uh, and even though the dollar is strong, we're seeing some of these perk back up. Another to be watching, US Steel had a good day yesterday, pushing on through, still holding in this support breakout here after they um, came out from underneath that buy uh, attempt from uh, Cleveland Cliffs, um, rejected that, and we pushed back up holding in there. So it's interesting to see steel showing strength here with the dollar being so strong. If we can hold in this area, come out here to trend, look for that next upside opportunity in US Steel. And then um, CLF, the, the, the culprit that uh, created that situation for, um, U.S. Steel is also making a big move here, breaking downtrend, trying to hold a higher low, broke through a little bit of resistance in that chart. Any rest or pullback sets up that higher low opportunity, and maybe we're seeing a move in steel despite that really high U.S. dollar that continues to stretch to the upside. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here today. I truly Really appreciate it. Y'all take care. Be safe. See you right back here, bright and early Wednesday morning. Wish you all the best.